being sold. You can't get this deal anywhere else. It's like having your own car dealer in the family. Myrtle Beach, Chrysler, Plymouth Jeep. Hi, I ordered the barbecued chicken sandwich. Oh, more money. This is WPDE News Channel 15 at 6 with Rich Everett, Allison Floyd, meteorologist Ed Piotrowski, and Dan Helley with sports. And now, the Grand Strand and PD's number one source for local news, WPDE News Channel 15. Welcome back. Well, residents in the PD are now facing possible flooding from the Little PD River. The river has run over its banks in Marion County, and the water is now getting very close to coming inside several homes. Officials began warning residents in that area yesterday that the rain from Hurricane Floyd could cause flooding along the river. But some residents are not too concerned with the flooding. They say they still prefer living on the river. To me, the, the lifestyle here is worth it. So, you know, you have to like the water. You have to like boating or fishing or just a peaceful life. And that's what we have here. Residents along both the Lumber and the Great Petey Rivers in Dillon are also being warned about possible flooding. Well, just how high are all the rivers going to get? We'll check back in with Ed Piotrowski. Up next, stay with us. Second quarter figures show a strong uptick in gross revenues with a corresponding increase in pre-tax profit. Get cheaper in the country. And now, the Grand Strand and PD's most accurate weather with Chief Meteorologist Ed Piotrowski on your number one source for local news, WPDE News Channel 15. All right, welcome back and good evening, everyone. We had more rain around the area again last night and today, but at least it was on the lower end of what we forecast. Let's take a look at the storm total precipitation here, and you can see, unfortunately, it was Ori in northern Georgetown counties that picked up most of the rain, anywhere from one to two inches last night and again early this morning. The rest of the area, generally less than a half an inch of rain. Now, take a look at the latest radars here. Most of the rain is pushed off the coast, but now we have a strong cold front moving into the Carolinas, and there are scattered showers and storms along that front. We're not expecting widespread rain overnight tonight, but as that front comes through, there will likely be a few scattered showers and a few thunderstorms. But folks, once we get through tonight, the weather is going to be gorgeous here for the next couple of days, thanks to that cold front over the western parts of North and South Carolina. That will continue to move on out to the east, and it looks like just dry, beautiful weather here for the next couple of days. And it will be cooler as well. Temps right now are in the lower 60s back over the mountains of the Carolinas and back into Tennessee, and that cooler air is definitely heading to the south and east. Take a look at Futurecast here. The front will be off the coast by tomorrow morning. Clouds will linger into early Wednesday, but as the day goes along and right on through Thursday, much drier air moves in. We should have wall-to-wall -wall sunshine by tomorrow afternoon and certainly right on through the day on Thursday and probably into Friday and Saturday as well. Next chance of a shower, not until late Thursday or well, not late Thursday, late Sunday or early Monday. Take a look to the tropics now over southern Florida. There is Harvey, tropical storm, and of course we have Hurricane Gert, well east and northeast of Bermuda, heading on out to sea right now, and neither one of those systems will affect us whatsoever. Tropical storm Harvey at 5 o'clock, 26.3 north, 80.5 west, 35 miles to the southwest of Palm Beach. Sustained winds now at 50. It is accelerating to the east and northeast now at 16. And Hurricane Gert, 33.4 north, 61.9 west, 175 miles to the east-northeast of Bermuda. It's now accelerating to the north and northeast at 20 miles per hour with sustained winds now at 105 miles per hour. And how about this? Isn't this nice to see? Back in September 10th, we beat the historical peak of hurricane season. We're now heading downhill, but as we all know, Hurricane Hugo came after September 10th, and so did Hurricane Hazel. Let's check out the numbers so far on the left-hand side of your screen, at least the left-hand of the columns there. 14 named storms, 9 becoming hurricanes, and 4 becoming intense was the official forecast at the beginning of the season. We are well on our way to beating those numbers. So far in 1999, we've had eight named storms, five of those becoming hurricanes, and already four of the five hurricanes we've had have been intense, meaning they've had sustained winds at 115 miles per hour or higher. Let's hope we're not going to see that anytime soon. We don't think so. The rest of the tropics are nice and quiet. Here's your sudden tide information for you. Look at the high and low tides. The water temperature now at 76. Here's the forecast for the boating waters now. We're expecting small craft advisories to stay up near and offshore as strong northerly and northeasterly winds take over and the seas begin to build. Forecast for the rest of the night. Look out for a few scattered showers and storms, especially later on tonight. Then cooler, the overnight lows in the upper 50s and lower 60s. For tomorrow, increasing amounts of sun. You may wake up to quite a few clouds in the morning, but more sunshine as we head through the day. Breezy and pleasant and much drier. High temperatures in the low to mid 70s. 
10. Here's a seven-day forecast. What we don't need is rain, and we don't see any through Thursday, Friday, into Saturday, perhaps into Sunday as well. We'll warm back into the 80s, but overnight lows will be in the 40s and 50s. Just delightful weather. And don't forget, fall officially arrives on Thursday. So at least nice to see the dry air is going to be here for a while to hopefully dry things out just a bit. Stay with us, folks. We've got sports coming up next. WPDE News Channel 15 Sports is brought to you by Burdette Chevrolet.